Hello, Libra. Welcome to your August tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So this reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. Welcome. If you are new, I'm so glad you stopped by. You found me. I'm Jennifer, and this is Water and Fire Tarot. If you're returning, thank you, thank you for returning, for allowing me to deliver these message, messages and for receiving the messages. I hope you all are doing well. If it hits home, make sure you hit that thumbs up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If not, make sure you check out your rising or your moon sign. All right, Libra, let's get to it. Let's see what August looks like for y'all. We're doing it. Here we go. All right, y'all. Coming into the current moment, what do we got, Libra? The Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. What's the influence or the challenge? The Ten of Swords. What's on your mind, Libra? What's going through your thoughts? The Page of Swords. There's your air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What happened in the recent past? The Hanged Man, Pisces energy. And what's the situation? Why is everything going down? The Five of Pentacles. Coming into the near future, what will you experience, Libra? The Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The Two of Wands. All right, decision time with that too. Trying to take action, but maybe a little bit at a crossroads as to which way you wanna go. What's the environment, what's in your environment? What's coming in that you don't see yet? The Five of Cups. All right, what's going on in your feels, your emotions? The Ten of Cups, Pisces, energy. And what's your outcome, Libra? What do we got? The King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. All right, it's all happening because of this Five of Pentacles. So for those of you Librans who feel like there's just not enough, right? Maybe not enough money, maybe your career's in the toilet. I don't know, I'm just saying. Your outcome though, with that King of Pentacles, it looks like money will get better. Maybe you've had a lot of bills this month. By the time August ends, I think you will feel um, a lot more stable with career and money. I'm just seeing that right off. Right off the gate, right out of the gate, right off the gate, whatever. I'm horrible with sayings. I really am. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been talking a lot today. Um, but again, everything is happening because of this Five of Pentacles. So are you shutting someone out? Or are they shutting you out? Five of Pentacles is, brr, I feel cold. I feel left out in the cold. Somebody's giving me the cold shoulder, ghosting, withdrawing, maybe not texting back quickly or, you know, picking up the phone when you call, something like that. But because of that, with that magician and the Ten of Swords influencing, so coming into the current moment, you guys are manifesting or somebody's manifesting with you. And it's because you feel shut out or they feel shut out. It's just what I'm seeing. And the influence to that magician is some sort of ending. It could have even been really, really harsh words. The Ten of Swords can be a really bad fight with someone, but it's just laid the F out. It's some sort of ending, betrayal, deception. It doesn't have to be deception or betrayal. It's just a harsh ending and it hurts. It's painful. I mean, does he look happy? Somebody's manifesting after an ending or betrayal or you're manifesting this new beginning, but one of you is giving the cold shoulder. All right, let's get to it. So what does Libra need to know? August 2022, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. Uh, real quick too, anything that you need to know about the reading, my channel, my website, any of that is gonna be below in that description box and pinned in the comments section. All right, Libra, what do you need to know for August? Something was kind of stuck in the recent past you may, somebody may have kind of made you see something in a new perspective too. That hanged man Pisces energy, but the hanged man is hanging upside down. He's like, what the hell does the world look like from this angle? So it could be though, because of the five of pentacles, maybe somebody put somebody at a stalemate. It, it may have become stuck. Doesn't mean you or them weren't starting to see things in a new light, but I'm getting this kind of stalemate energy. On your mind is the Page of Swords, curiosity. Page of Swords, what's going on? What are they up to, you know? That Page of Swords is sometimes looking into someone or asking about someone, maybe online. But if not, it's just the energy of curiosity. Somebody still is curious. I feel like there were some harsh words 
with the page of swords the ten of swords maybe an argument that led to an ending or the ending was already here and the betrayal and somebody spoke the truth but it hurt something like that why is this magician coming into the current moment for libra and the seven of pentacles Seven of Pentacles, slow energy. And when that Seven of Pentacles shows, it's like you got nothing to do but wait and take stock of the situation. What did I invest? What did they in invest? Is, is the time going to ever come to pick the Pentacles? It's really waiting and taking stock. But it's because of the magician. It's because of, I think a lot of you had very powerful energy. You manifested them in the past or they manifested you. But coming into the current moment, it's all about creating again. I had it once and I want it again. Either you or them. And so because of that coming in, you've got that seven of pentacles. So this is an investment, but it's waiting. It's, it's just a waiting game because somebody's being shut out with that five of pentacles. Why is the ten of swords influencing this energy? What is this about? Oof. Ouch. Libra. Ten of swords, seven of swords. What the hell kind of shit is that? That seven of swords is somebody really took something from someone. It could have been cheating, lying, stealing. Somebody took the last Pop-Tart from the pantry. I don't know. But also that seven of swords is just stealing somebody's trust, somebody's heart, somebody's, you know, something. Something was taken. And it led to an ending. And it led to somebody feeling really hurt. Possibly both of you. What's on your mind, Libra? Page of swords? Why is this page of swords here? And the strength card, sign of Leo. Quietly kind of just keeping tabs, maybe wondering, maybe, you know, asking, you're doing this or they're doing it. I mean, it's on your mind, but while you hold back, taming the beast. I think the beast in this reading is that ten of swords and that seven of swords. So this is like trying to overcome some sort of obstacle and trying to figure it out. Maybe talking to others asking doing something like that kind of keeping tabs a little bit i mean that's what it feels like but it's because with the strength card leo energy you're trying to i think tame maybe your inner beast libra maybe you said something or did something that you regret and so now you're just having to be patient and overcome some it's very like withdrawn energy but you being curious to figure out how to overcome this whatever happened could be vice versa, I'm just saying. What happened here in the recent past with you? You've got the hanged man. Well, what's it about? Pisces energy and the hanged man in reverse. Somebody put somebody at a stalemate here and it was because there was a lack of being able to see something through somebody else's eyes. A lack of perspective and somebody released. Somebody's like, listen, you don't see the pain I'm going through or what you've done to me, I'm out. Hangman in reverse. So it was put at a stalemate. It became kind of stuck. One of you could have been kind of waiting around while the other was just like, I'm not, you're not going to change. I'm not going to change. I'm out. It's all happening because of the Five of Pentacles. So what's this about? Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is in the foundation for Libra. Queen of Swords in reverse. That's you. Card of Libra. Doesn't matter if you're male or female, but because somebody is withdrawn, maybe they completely ghosted or they're just not giving that warm, lovey feeling that I think you once had and you want to recreate. Queen of Swords in reverse is really hurt. I mean, it's either you or them. I mean, that is your card, but that Queen of Swords in reverse has been just, she's typically single or divorced or you know, but it not always, but a lot because she's been effed over in love. She's been hurt. She's been backed into a corner. And sometimes she'll get kind of spicy with her words. She'll tell you to F off your dog, your hamster, your entire family. She doesn't care because she's been backed into that corner. She's pissed. And but but the anger comes from hurt with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody shut somebody out here, and I think you both are hurting, is what this feels like. But that Queen of Swords says, mm -mm, I've had enough. I'm going to, I don't know, set all your clothes on fire, says the, King of, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Coming into the near future, you will experience a Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and the Three of Swords. So some of you are in separation with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Maybe you have water in your chart. 
you might even be a Libra Scorpio cusper. That's your card, Libra, the Three of Swords, card of Libra. There's still love here, though, between the two of you with that Queen of Cups. She's in the upright, you know, but just because there's love doesn't mean you're going to act on it or they're going to act on it necessarily. Look, her cup's closed. She's like, oh, I got a lot of love to give you. But my intuition says, keep the cup closed until I know it's right. Even when the Queen of Cups is in the upright, she can be quite emotional. Kind of sad, kind of blue. Because she has that cup, that cup's closed though. She wants to be able to offer that love. But you're in separation, three of swords. Somebody's still hurting here from a breakup or from just really, really painful words. It's one of those. And it's all because somebody refused to change or refused to see things in a different perspective. And the other person was just like, I'm out. I'm out and I'm shutting you off. I'm pissed. It's one of you. You see yourself right now as the, so I do feel like there's still separation throughout August. I'm sorry. I just, you know, on my channel, I keep it real. Like I'm not gonna paint a watercolor, you know, a watercolor painting just to, you know, make it look a certain way. It's, it's for you. It's so that you can, you have free will. You take it as advice so you can make changes that are necessary, you know? Or maybe you just say, F it. F you, Three of Swords, Queen of Cups. I don't give enough. And that's okay too. All right. You see yourself as the Two of Wands. What's this Two of Wands? You're at a crossroads. You're not really sure which way to go. Two of Wands. You got to take action in the situation, but you're kind of just at a standstill trying to figure it out. What's your path with the Ace of Swords? Aquarius energy. What's this Two of Wands with the Ace of Swords for Libra and the Eight of Cups? You still want victory with somebody that you you left like you turned away they they walked away you walked away and you're just kind of standing there like what do i do what do i do what do i do because i still want success i still want victory there's a part of you that really wants to communicate the truth and after for some of you after you communicate that truth you want to take that sword and cut them off cut them off cut them out not all of you but you guys somebody definitely walked what's this eight of cups yeah, and you're sad about it. Five of Cups. You're longing for the past. You're regretful. Maybe you're regretful for how this all came to play. Maybe how it all ended. Maybe you're disappointment, disappointed and sad because you actually miss the person. I think you do. There's regret here and missing and really regretful over what's happened. Because the Two of Cups is still there. They're all standing in this deck. You've got five cups that are standing. That two of cups is a beautiful, beautiful connection. And you feel like this person's a soulmate. Something went awry here. What's coming in? So you've got this five of cups coming in too. This is what the, um, com this is what's ex external to y'all. So I feel like that this is your person also being sad and regretful. What's this five of cups in Libra's environment? The devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. Remember, this energy could be vice versa. But in your environment, the energy coming in is this energy of, well, man, that really sucked because I thought this was my soulmate. I'm really sad that things have ended the way they have. I wish this hadn't happened. I miss them. I miss what we had. But with the devil in reverse, I'm just not going to put up with any toxicity. Doesn't mean you're toxic, Libra. Doesn't mean they're toxic. Some, you know, somebody, something went down here. That devil in reverse is... You know, I cannot be stuck to a toxic relationship or I can't be caught up with somebody maybe who has addictions or, you know, who's obsessive or who's stuck themselves. I feel like it's either you or them, maybe hell, maybe both of you really, really, it's, it's a heavy reading. You got to release that devil and whomever this is, you'll know how it resonates. That's what they're doing. They're releasing it. They don't, they can't feel stuck. They refuse to feel stuck anymore. They regret it. They're sad. They don't want it to be this way, but they just, they know that they have to do that. What's going on in your emotions, Libra? The Ten of Cups. So why are you guys feeling this Ten of Cups? What's this Ten of Cups about? And the Hermit. Major Conifer for Virgo. Some of you guys are surrounding yourselves with family. You're isolated, you're not going out, you're staying home, you're secluded, you know, you're withdrawing, 
you're re the hermit energy can be solitude but the hermit is also very wise very slow energy he is researching something he's trying to figure something out and sometimes he's doing it on his own number one some of you are surrounding yourself with family you know and like you're alone from reality in the world but maybe you have a family member or two around you to kind of help you feel better <clears throat> You're trying to really go within as well and figure out how to get that happily ever after, how to get that happiness with that 10 of cups, because I do feel as though you felt it at one time with this person. You thought they could be that 10 of cups. And that's why I, th I think coming in, you're still trying to manifest that, but you know, you're going to have to be patient. There's a lot of obstacles to overcome and there's some separation coming into the near future, but nobody's happy about it. I think you both know that you have um, some energy that you need to release and maybe you're just bad for each other, but ultimately they're your happily ever after. Oh, soul searching. The, that hermit in your emotions, Libra, is also that self-reflection. You know, what's the outcome? You've got the king of pentacles, which is interesting. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus with the page of swords okay that makes sense so there's your air energy whether you're male or female it doesn't matter king of pentacles success reaching a goal reaching a milestone he is all about commitment stability career he nurtures his family he likes the finer things in life he can be a little materialistic but he's in the upright so what he likes a good steak and a fast car who cares he is a king of pentacles though. So he is on board with commitment and stability and success within a relationship. He's not effing around. A very slow energy. He will be very slow to make any type of change or decision because those pentacles to him, they represent success and future for a long time. So in other words, your outcome here, you have somebody, could be an earth sign, but I feel like the energy, it's either you or them, is all about, I'm going to reach this goal with this person. I'm going to marry this person. I'm going to end up with this person. I just have to figure out how to do it with the Page of Swords. I do feel like you're keeping an eye on them. They're keeping an eye on you. You guys are watching each other, probably. But ultimately, that King of Pentacles energy is what you're manifesting and you're waiting on. Notice how the Seven of Pentacles is clarifying that magician coming into the current moment. You've got Pentacles and you've got the King of Pentacles. Slow, steady wins the race. It's about a commitment, it's about future, and it's about success. Whatever this devil bullshit is and all this toxic energy and this hurt and ending and separation, I gotta be real, again, I don't paint rainbows and kittens if I don't see them. I still feel like there's a future here. What the hell, mom? And I don't, I don't normally say that if I don't see it. I'm not going to say it. But I don't, something just tells me if you two would just get your ish together and you can accept kind of the separation here for a little while, I just feel like something comes of it. What's this King of Pentacles, Page of Swords? King of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. There you go. Mom just made you some chocolate chip cookies and I'm going to sing you a lullaby to sleep because that's beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. It's a new beginning. It's a gift from the universe, but you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to show a lot of patience. You guys both need to go through some healing. Somebody needs to, you know, go through an awakening. We need awake energy here, Libra. You're going to have to work on yourself and so are they. You have a new beginning. Is this going to happen in August for everyone? No. So nobody come back and say, well, it didn't happen in August. Well, maybe it's not your reading, but also, look, universe decides on the time. We're talking about the energy that's surrounding Libra in August. What's going on? It doesn't mean all of this is going to play out in August. This person, you haven't seen the last of them, but y'all need to get your ish together, and so do they. And it, it, you're only going to get there by time apart. This Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. They're saying take it, go bury it, plant it, but don't forget to water it and feed it because it can grow into that King of Pentacles type energy. 
you got you got some work to do with the Page of Swords. You need to research, go within, figure some stuff out. And by the way, keep an eye on each other. Looks like that's what's going to happen as well. All right, Libra, that's what I got for y'all. Uh, again, if y'all want to learn tarot, check out below. I put a link there. I'm creating a series on Vimeo where you can buy single videos to learn tarot depending on your knowledge and your interest. I'm, it's still a work in progress. I'm adding videos. It's going to be a total of seven. I think there's three on there now. Um, but go check that out. It's pretty cool. You can learn at your own pace. And uh, join the channel if you want to do that as well. That link is also below. You get some extended readings throughout the month. All right, y'all. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.